Today, I will explain the latest updates from yesterday. Hello, everyone, I'm NDL. Firstly, these images serve an illustrative purpose and are translated by software, so errors may occur. Please await the official version within the game, as there might be further changes. The new town and a potentially powerful weapon were revealed, and despite being a test version, the new town looks beautiful. Images of new bosses and maps were shared, and the third boss resembles Lu Biyu from the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, exhibiting impressive designs. As for the new class in Season 1, only one class will be introduced, available for purchase by money. There are four class combinations to choose from, and poison-related classes seem potent in Season 1. They announce over 100 new items, giving players the freedom to create their own unique equipment sets. The addition of Heisha, a new mechanism, introduces new in-game currency called Dark Mana, obtained by participating and winning battles, enhancing and upgrading equipment. The game will include new in-game events, and a notable point is the Animancer being sold for 500 gems, a great move for free-to-play enthusiasts. Animancer will be available for everyone to experience, fostering positive feedback. There's also a new feature allowing the reuse of purchased skins from Season 0, providing an option for players who lost access to these skins. After reading all this content, what I find most intriguing is the sale of Animancer for 500 gems. As a free-to-play YouTuber, this is particularly exciting for me. What excites you the most? Feel free to leave a comment. That's it for today's video. Thank you for your enthusiastic support. Goodbye.